Hello, hello, hello YouTube. Today I want to tell you why I love living in Buffalo, New York, even on a cloudy day, even as we head into the winter. Welcome if you are new here. I am a Buffalo based content creator. I specialize in social media marketing and I love making videos about fashion, lifestyle, and living in Buffalo because I have lived in Buffalo for 16 years now. I was born and raised in Long Island, New York, moved to Buffalo for college, stayed here for grad school, did an accelerated program at the University of Buffalo and decided to stay in Buffalo and turn the city into my home. And I love sharing about why I think Buffalo, New York is so special what makes Buffalo unique, and why I decided to stay after college. So let's get into my top six reasons why I love living in Buffalo. The number one reason why I love living in Buffalo is the affordability. Buffalo is a super affordable city. And if you Google the affordability of Buffalo, you will find some amazing statistics. Like Buffalo is 27% lower than the state average for cost of living. And it's 5% lower than the national average. And for housing, Buffalo, New York housing is 7% cheaper than the national average. And you utilities are 4% less pricey than the national average as well. And let's be real, in today's economy, affordability has to be a factor in where you live. And honestly, affordability is such an important factor because it's going to determine and dictate how comfortable and happy your lifestyle can be in that city. And I honestly think that Buffalo's affordability goes beyond its cost of living and housing and utilities. It goes into groceries, the cost of goods and services. I really think that Buffalo is a city where your dollar can stretch so much further. groceries like basil like I just got a whole container full of basil for three dollars and going out for dinner to getting coffees in the city things are so affordable in Buffalo so the second reason why I love Buffalo so much is how close things are to each other so I live in Larkinville and I needed to get Matt and I basil for dinner tonight and it literally took me four minutes to drive from Larkinville to downtown to go to Bray Miller the downtown grocery store like it literally took me four minutes to get from Larkinville to downtown Town, and now I've got a few little things that I want to do downtown but if I wanted to go pop over into the Elmwood Village that would only take me 10 minutes to get there if I wanted to go to the mall if I wanted to go to a different area in Buffalo everyone always says in Buffalo it feels like everything is 20 minutes apart it feels like you are never gonna drive more than 20 minutes to get literally anywhere like even if you want to go to Grand Island which is not considered Buffalo anymore and you want to be out on the water it's gonna take you like 20 minutes and there is something about the proximity of every everything to each other that just makes Buffalo really easy to navigate. Not to mention, there's hardly ever any traffic in Buffalo. And so that also just makes it so easy because if you have somewhere that you want to go and it's a long drive, aka it's like 20 minutes away, you can almost guarantee that no matter what time of day, the longest it will take you to get there is an additional like three to five minutes with traffic. And growing up on Long Island, I was used to being in traffic sometimes for 30, 40 minutes and having that added on to an already maybe 30 or 40 minute drive. It was just a lot. In Buffalo, things are closer. It's just so easy to get everywhere that you need to get. If you have a car, I will say the public transportation in Buffalo isn't the best. So that is definitely a downside of Buffalo. But if you have a car, it is really, really easy to get anywhere in the city literally within 20 minutes.
architecture. Even on a cloudy day, even as we head into winter. These buildings are so beautiful. Like look at the Liberty Building behind me. Oh, whether it's the Electric Tower, Hotel Lafayette, City Hall, the Gold Dome, there are so many beautiful buildings in Buffalo. The Garanti Building. Or the Guarantee Building. I don't know how you say it. But oh, there are just so many beautiful buildings in Buffalo everywhere you look. downtown and it might be cloudy but it's still a beautiful day and it's just so easy to observe the beauty in these buildings like look at the Hotel Lafayette it is exceptional the beauty in the buildings is just it's breathtaking there are these little churches and just all of these old buildings with a lot of history Shays theater is so gorgeous just walking around the city you will see so many beautiful buildings like the rand building in front of me here there are so many historic buildings that really have deep significance in buffalo's history like 500 seneca larkinville to the guarantee building which was like the first big office building i think possibly in the country the hotel lafayette has a lot of history there is just so much rich history in Buffalo and as you walk through the downtown you can really see that as you look at the buildings like look at the electric tower ah it's just literally everywhere you look there's a beautiful building to admire and some incredible public art as well I love living in Buffalo is I am by the water. I love the water. If you know me, you know. Being by the water calms my soul and there's just something about the ability to easily get down to canal side and be right on the water that is just so nice. So because we are heading into the winter, most of the things are closed. Like in the summer there is kayaking, there is this amazing beer garden with like chess tables and game tables and all of this seating. There is something called Clinton's Dish where you can get food and drinks. There is a carousel here. There's a little sandbox pit play area. You can do stand up paddle boarding, kayaking, those water bicycle things. There's literally so much to do here. Even on a gray and slightly windy day, it is still so peaceful and relaxing to come by Canal Side. It's quiet. There's such a good energy down here. And it is just so nice to be right by the water. And I will say another area in Buffalo that I love that's right by the water is Hoyt Lake at Delaware Park. There is a cute little pond where you can do like rowboat things in the summer. And it is just so cute and quaint and romantic there. Okay, and I'm about to leave Canal Side and just lower my window. Oh, look at those cobblestone streets. They're just so cute. Reason number five why I love Buffalo is the proximity to other cities. Buffalo is really close to a lot of places that you might not even realize. Like Buffalo is only an hour away from Toronto. It's three and a half hours away from Cleveland, three and a half hours away from Pittsburgh. It's about eight hours from Montreal. And seven hours from New York slash like the tri-state area. And since my mom lives in Pittsburgh and my dad lives in New York, it's really nice that I can easily 
actually drive to see both of my parents. I also love visiting Toronto, so the fact that the world's most international city with such good food and so many good gluten-free options is just an hour away is truly amazing. And given that my parents are getting older, there is just so much peace of mind that I get from living in Buffalo and knowing that if anything were to happen, if my parents were to need me, I would be able to easily jump in the car and get to them within a day. For my mom, it would only take me three-ish hours, and for my dad, it would take me seven, or I could jump on a plane and literally get there in an hour. And so that ease of transport, the ability to get easily to my parents, and just the ability to drive to so many different cities, whether it is Boston or Vermont, or whether we wanna go to Tennessee or North Carolina, there are just so many places that you can just hop in the car, drive from Buffalo, and I just love that. And the sixth and final reason why I love living in Buffalo is the pride that people have in Buffalo. If you are a Buffalo Bills or a Sabres fan, you know how intense people get about the Buffalo sports teams. And there's just a pride that people have in living in this city and or being from this city. It is palpable. Like if you wear Buffalo Bills gear on a Sunday and you are out and about in the city, there are going to be people who smile at you, who just say, let's go Buffalo. Like there is just so much pride that exists in Buffalonians. And I didn't know that about Buffalo until I moved here. And experiencing it firsthand is truly something else. It is heartwarming and it is just incredible and infectious to feel like you are part of a community, like you are part of an underdog community. Because people in Buffalo, like we know that other parts, especially of New York, but other parts of the country, other parts of the world might hate on Buffalo, but we have a pride for what Buffalo has to offer, for our food, our friendliness, our affordability. Buffalo is called the city of good neighbors and it's called that for good reason because people in Buffalo are kind and they're down to earth. They're literally willing to like pick you up if you are down. And there's something so beautiful about that. I never experienced a sense of community like I did until I moved to Buffalo. I never had a sense of community when I grew up in Long Island and moving to Buffalo was just unbelievably life-changing for me to find people who just love their city so much, who ooze pride and who would truly do anything to help continue the revival and build up of what has been happening in the city over the last 10 years. It has been so cool to witness Buffalo's growth and redevelopment over this last decade living here. And I just cannot wait to see what happens over the next five to 10 years in Buffalo. So if you guys like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you have any questions about living in Buffalo, if you want me to show you different areas of Buffalo, please just let me know in the comments. I so appreciate having you guys here and be sure to hit the bell and subscribe. You don't miss out on other videos because I might be coming back with even more reasons as to why I love living in Buffalo. So I'll see you guys in the next one.